Hey guys, this is Floodmon14 here. Today we're doing a bit of a different video. Uh, yeah, as you can see, the streets here. Uh, I was needing to run up to the store real quick and get some batteries for my mouse. So this is just going to be kind of a vlog video slash uh, update. Yeah, the skies are cloudy. It's almost. Uh, it's definitely almost tornado season here in uh, Arkansas where I live. Uh, but yeah, as you see here. Like the ditches are really flooded uh, and we're gonna be heading toward the busier parts of town and over there you'll see like the flooding is really bad like who man it was uh, I recently posted a video of uh, well it was funny um, I had a my HD capture device get full while I was battling Mako grinding for some more cards grind Pantera Oh, dude, that is an awesome idea for a video. I'm totally going to do that. Um, have that one guy from Bleach with the Panther Claws. What's his name? Oh, yeah, Grim. Yeah, I love that guy. He's freaking awesome. <laughs> he has an awesome uh, attitude. And I love the way he fights. Anyway, yeah, dude, I'm going to totally post that, like, on randomly on one of the grinding episodes. Like, when we, once we finally get our... <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe I'll do it on the next recording session. Because this recording session is already done. But yeah, I'll, I'll have to cut that in somehow. I'll be like, grind, Pandera. <laughs> oh yeah, and Ulkior also like cuts him off. Dude, that is an awesome idea. Oh, Eureka, man. Oh, uh, see, this is why I like doing YouTube, man. It's like you get to be creative and you know just do whatever you want for fun. Uh man, it is a bit stressful though. Uploading takes a lot of time. Yeah, look at this, guys. Like, you see that? Look at this huge ass puddle over here. So we're about to cross the street. Yeah, look at that, dude. Like, the flooding is so bad here <laughs> on the north side of town. Uh, some of you guys know the exact city I live. Some don't, but I'm not going to say exactly because it really doesn't matter. <sighs> this time of year, basically, here's the situation. Once we get really close to tornado season here in Arkansas, it starts... <sighs> basically, this is where our yearly rainfall, rainfall totals get to be... Uh, like normally the rainfall totals here are pretty solid compared to other states and the main reason is, is usually here during tornado season and tornado season is like right now almost my sister's birthday which is toward the end of February all the way till really I'd say about May 13th or Mother's Day yeah that's that's basically tornado season for Arkansas and during that time like we get basically buckets of rain. It's like living in Seattle or London. <laughs> uh, or so I've heard. So I've heard. I don't know. For some reason, every episode that, um, like that Johnny Depp movie, Sweeney Todd, like in London, it's always, you know, it's always. I'm not gonna say raining or depressing, but like the the background always looks. You know, like foggy. That's what they call it. Foggy old London for some reason. So I don't know if it's always rains over there or, or what. If, if you guys know about that. Yeah, but look at this, man. Look at that. So much flooding. Oh, my God, dude. But, yeah. And the thing is, is it'll probably... Like, you see how all this water is already collected in the ditches and stuff? Like, I think we're supposed to get more rain today. And it's supposed to be just as much as yesterday. So... Yeah, basically the flooding on the roads is going to be bad. Just as bad today as it was yesterday. So, Whew. But uh, how are you guys doing? Uh, yeah, I'm doing good. I, I just woke up. Uh, what is today? Is today the 21st or 22nd? I don't know. It's Wednesday. Uh, yeah, my plans for today. I, uh, uh, I think tonight. Yeah, tonight's church night, isn't it? Yeah, tonight's church night. I might go to church and... Just, uh, other than that, not much going on today. Let's see, it looks like we can cross back here to the sidewalk ends. But yeah, I just thought I'd kind of show you guys this kind of walk and talk. <sighs> uh, what else can I talk about? There was something I wanted to talk about. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so recently, guys... You know how the, there have been all these mass shootings in schools and stuff, right? And the paranoia and people are, everyone's giving their opinion. Um, I just wanted to give my opinion kind of real quick. Let's cross the street here. But, um, 
<sighs> Man, this is really hard to talk about. Uh, <sighs> okay. Actually, it's not. But you guys on the channel know that, like, I've mentioned it in snippets here and there. That, like, you know, I had to take my medicine. I have... A, I'll just say what mental disorder I have. I have bipolar 1 is my diagnosis, okay? So what that means is... Now, I think there... When, when I went for treatment, um, they said at the time there were like four different stages of bipolar. Now, by, just because someone says, oh, I have this disorder or this disorder, no, that doesn't mean, oh, look at Joshua Jones, he's a fucking lunatic. He tried to do this and this nigga stayed up for two days straight and he's crazy and this black guy's crazy. This black guy's crazy. No, no. Having bipolar disorder doesn't mean you're crazy. It just means, actually, my bipolar one, um, the main um, attributes of this disease for me is, number one, um, it's like a chemical imbalance deficiency. Uh, it's almost close to hormones or, yeah, it's very... I don't know, it's still much unknown. A lot of research is still being done about bipolar 1 and why, how it even is possible to happen in the first place. Uh, so that's one part of it. The second part is, um, now everybody has, you know, stress, anxiety, depression, and, um, uh, you know, general life stuff like that. But the thing about being bipolar 1 is that your emotions so to speak like your anxiety your depression i'm trying to think of other words like and it's not just those emotions too like your loneliness your happiness too your happiness your your uh joy it seems to be like when i laugh guys like truly laugh like i hear something funny like i laugh louder than everybody else in the room um it, it it's just that way um Bipolar 1, or at least me, the emotional, the quantity of the emotional state, to speak in math terms, is calculated at a very high level. You know, compared to everyone else, most people are more subdued or more, you know, controlling, so to speak. Yeah, most people have more, basically, bipolar 1, that, that's the best way to describe it. I just thought of it. It's not that... You know, I'm emotionless, so to speak. Don't, you know, have trouble expressing my emotion. It's just the opposite. My emotions almost are accentuated too much. If, if that makes any sense. And the problem with this is like, once you get into some of the bad emotions, you know, you just have a bad day at work or one bad day at school or just, you know, your boyfriend breaks up with you. You know, something like that happens. Um, you know, general life stuff. Stuff that, you know, seems like it's life and death at the time, but is really unimportant in the large, you know, grand scheme of things. Um, yeah, it could even be something as simple as, like, you stub your toe. Like, <laughs> like, dude, one day I did stub my toe, and I, for the rest of the day, I was cranky and pissed, and I took it out on, on everybody when, like, dude, it was just a stubbed toe. Chill the fuck out. Like... <laughs> But yeah, the, like that's one great example I just gave, and it's a true story too. And so I'm sorry to everyone. Yeah, but more flooding there, as you can see. Yeah, and look at this dish. Yeah, yeah, lots of flooding, and we're supposed to get more rain today. It's it's doing a light sprinkle right now. You guys will, are probably able to hear it. Um, but yeah, not not enough to where I need to run into uh, Family Dollar here and hide for cover for 20, 30 minutes till it passes. But yeah, oh yeah, there's some more great flooding over there. Look at that. Wow, dude. Okay. Wow, I'm really glad I recorded this. We're going to show this. Like, this ditch is wasted full. Look at this shit. Oh my god, not that right there. This is right here. This next one. Look at that, dude. And that ditch is deep, too. Look at that. It's completely full, man. We're going to get a nice zoom up of that. And uh, I think that'll be toward the end of the video. Oh, no, no. To finish the video, I'm going to talk more about the uh, mass shooters and stuff. I got off topic talking about my depression. Uh, but it's a related topic, actually, because some of the mass shooters do have some form of... Damn, dude, that is so flooded. Look at that shit. That is bad. This looks bad, Chief. Real bad. 
that's a Halo 2 reference for anybody who didn't get that. <laughs> uh, that happens during the second mission on Earth, I think. Um, one of the, one of the, uh, I think one of the friends who helps you on your mission says that for some reason. Um, oh yeah, when the, uh, when the, uh, more aliens are inbound on your position. At one point they say that because they start dropping out of the sky like flies. <laughs> uh, anyway, back to my topic. Depression, yeah, yeah, mental disorder, that's, that was my topic. Long story short, um, it's a strange feeling like what I'm going to say, but don't take it out of context. Basically, I sort of identify with the mass shooters. I'm not saying what, the, what they're doing is okay. By identify, I mean like I understand how... Because I've attempted suicide before once, and I'm not going to talk much about that in this video. But yeah, I attempted suicide. Oh, that was definitely a bad idea at the time. It's just like my girlfriend broke up with me yada 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 uh, I took it took things my response took things way too far um, thankfully I made it out okay uh, I don't really like talking about this but yeah that's the gist of it so but like my point is is like I understand that side of it and I can see how like for example when my girlfriend broke up with me like my reaction was you know I don't want to live anymore uh, but I can understand also, like, if you're having that same, you know, brief thought in your head from, you know, out of nowhere, and then let's, let's, let's say, like, whenever this happened, I happened to own a gun. Um, yeah, you know, like, you just happen to be in your room, you happen to be feeling that kind of situation. You know, you're making it out to be more of a monster in your head than it really is at the time. Because, like, at the time, like I said, and, and my emotions are amplified. So, like, you just happen, like, that's what happens, I think, for the mentally, those who are mentally ill. Like, they just happen to see the gun during a bad emotional state. And then, all of a sudden, it just clicks. Well, I can do something about it. Yeah, it's a bad idea, but fuck it. You know, I got nothing to lose. And then from there, they just succumb to the devil's temptation. Which is, I mean, you shouldn't do, really. You shouldn't, look, everyone knows, deep down, you're not supposed to kill anybody. But sometimes, like, when you, my point is, is when I can identify with the emotional part of it. Like, when you're in a high emotional state um, of anxiety or depression, like, you, you can make a life-altering, stupid emotional decisions um and you if you have a gun close by then you know it just happens to be in the vicinity and yeah now i'm not saying that makes it okay i'm not saying that makes it like these guys should be freed out of jail no that's not what i'm saying i'm just saying that's that side of it to explain it to you guys and as to like how basically it becomes a snowball effect one thing leads to another, leads to another, compounds on another, multiplies by another, gets uh, fractionally equationed and asymptotes to another. And next thing you know, we're hearing, oh, got a train coming. Next thing you know, we're hearing about some other jerkish asshole who's selfish, who's mowing down 10, 15, 20, 50 people. That's how it happens. Um, now I don't like it, I'm, and and there's my stop where I need to get my batteries. But I'm gonna finish up my thoughts here real quick. I don't like it, you don't like it, nobody fucking likes it, and this shit does need to stop. Um, but my point is, is that um, now some people will give their opinions and say, oh yeah, gun control this, gun control that, that 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 that. Like, I think it really would help. Like here's the thing I'm mentally ill right and maybe you guys can understand this even more if you're an Arkansan like me because I grew up man like my great-grandfather taught me how to do this stuff he taught me how to fish he taught me how to do this he taught me how to do that yes I know how to use a gun it ain't that hard I do know how to hunt for sport it's fun it's just a hobby um, I don't own a gun there but like yeah, like hunting is a, I wouldn't say it's a lifestyle, 
but it's a huge hobby here in Arkansas. So I don't think that's a great solution. Let's just take all the guns out. No, that's because most people are generally, you know, balanced and sane and they're not going to do bad things. Um, but I do think, based on what I described to you guys today, as far as the mental disorder goes. Now, the other levels of bipolar 2, you see, while I was in treatment, I learned about the others, and that was bipolar 2, 3, and 4. Now, those have various conditions. Some even are comboed and diagnosed with things like schiz schizophrenia and stuff. And what happens is, is like people go off their medication, and then, like some of these mass shooters you hear about, yeah, they'll get their gun and shoot people up. So, yeah. And really, there's nothing you can do about that.